began the journey of applying for non-resident points in Wyoming. Little did I know that the very same year that I would finally cash in those points for a deer and general elk tag would also coincide with my husband, myself, and my trusty pack string relocating from Oregon to the beautiful Cowboy State. Now, as we enter this season, we're not only cashing in our hard-earned Wyoming non-resident points, but also embarking on the beginning of a brand new chapter in our lives. My old man, huh? How you doing? Ever since I was a two-year-old toddler, my family and I have packed up our mules on countless backcountry adventures. However, this particular journey marks a significant milestone for me as it will be the first time that I pack in without the guiding presence of my father and instead embark on a new journey with my husband, Yogi. We'll weigh these again and then see where we're at. Venturing into uncharted territory brings forth a multitude of uncertainties and it is in these moments that I'm drawing upon a lifetime of experience to prepare for the possibilities that lie ahead on this hunt. As we load up and make the final preparations, I feel both a mix of anticipation and excitement. However, amidst it all, I have an unwavering confidence in the bond between myself and my cherished pack string. Throughout the trails of their existence, I have been steadily by their side through it all, forging an enduring partnership. This is my family, and we are heading out to enjoy the best of life together here in Wyoming. Got a bit of a late start today. Uh, I flat tires and I don't know, any. I felt like anything that could kind of delay us did today. So instead of packing in like we were going to, we're gonna do kind of a quick evening ride. I've never been here. Yogi's been here once. We have absolutely no idea <laughs> like what we're in for really. It's gonna be pretty much a surprise. Yogi did some scouting here, so we're pretty optimistic on what, you know, what the conditions and what the terrain is. You know, we have some things we need to kind of navigate through and figure out, but uh, I think we're pretty well prepared and should have a good few days. We only have uh, three and a half days left of season and Try to put something together for either an elk or a deer. We both have deer tags and I have an elk tag, so it's gonna be fun. 
I left my binoculars at the truck. <laughs> I was gonna put them in my saddlebag. And I forgot. From the very first glance, the broken rolling terrain leaves me absolutely awestruck. And despite the lack of wildlife sightings on our first night out, I have confidence in the scouting trip that Yogi had made earlier in the year. And as the darkness sets in, we head to camp, eager for the adventures that await us in the coming days. Thank you. With so much to prepare, we rise well before the break of dawn. Yogi and I meticulously fill the panniers and balance the weight of our gear before saddling the mules and loading them up. Our goal is to get going on our pack trip, leaving behind the comforts found in our base camp while looking forward to the hunt that lies ahead. We know that the scorching daytime temperatures are looming and we need to get some miles behind us before the sweltering heat sets in. For this hunt, there is no direct route to our destination. In fact, there isn't even an official trail to serve as our guide. We rely upon Onyx Hunt to navigate, word of mouth from other hunters, and occasionally we're lucky enough to stumble upon a well-worn game trail or old gas road, which helps us in maneuvering around the neighboring private properties. This journey is a true exploration, and we remain uncertain about what lies ahead. Nonetheless, we persist with the unwavering belief that our public lands harbor deer, elk, and the opportunity to hunt for those that are willing to endure the miles. It's our first night in here. We just packed in. We only have two and a half days to hunt. And we just started walking and already spotted some deer. Yogi's pretty excited. First buck is his. We both have buck tags, but he's up first. And he's pretty disappointed that this is just a young fork and horn. This one looks like a, like a, yeah, he's just a six, I think. Big five.
this thing though, right? He's right there. He just went in behind that tree. He just came over from that other side. Yep. There he is. Yeah, there he is. We just spotted this big bull. He's um got a bunch of cows with him. So we're gonna Yogi's gonna stay here. Nick and I are gonna go around and try to get on this bull. And then uh Yogi would be in a good position to bring in the mules in a little bit if we need him. So don't know if it'll work out, but we're gonna give it a try. It's a really good bull. So I'm super excited um, that we spotted this guy. He's with cows. He's acting super ruddy still. Um, so maybe we can call him in or, or have a little luck on our side, you know. Uh, I always thank God on these trips for every opportunity and hopefully this one turns out. With the intertwined expanses of public and private lands, the elk herd moves deep into private land, denying me any chance to pursue the herd bull. Nevertheless, I am eager to keep hunting with the hopes of a different ending next time. Looking out over some beautiful country, we've got um, juniper pockets and these big, beautiful grassy flats. Everything looks like super dead and yellow on the surface, and it is in some spots, but in other places, underneath that yellow grass is beautiful, bright green shoots, and that's what these deer and elk are coming in here for, and that's what holds them in these, these little yellow parks. It's so dry, it's hard to believe sometimes that anything grows here, um, but it certainly does. I mean, the mules are, the mules are thriving on it as well. Um, such a beautiful place. Yogi spotted up a little three by three buck tonight. Um, and uh, so far all I've seen is a couple of antelope. He's right there in the same spot. Dropped him! Yes! <laughs> Good shooting, that's a flat shot. I can't believe he pulled that off. It's our last day of hunting season here. It's my last day to get a deer. And uh, it's just, it was, that, that was a little bit of a poke of a shot. And so, um, Especially yeah. with that crosswind too. This morning was windy and He's cold. It's perfect. <laughs> Big old three by three. Wyoming, you're welcome. We're doing some management here. That's right. <laughs> Massive buck. 
This is a beautiful buck. Big. Oh my gosh, he's a beast. We're out here looking for elk and mule deer. Today is the last day of deer season. And you spotted this deer last night. Beautiful. Weren't able to get on him this morning. We were able to get on him and what a beautiful buck. He is ancient, gorgeous. My first Wyoming mule deer, first of many. Thank you husband. Ooh, awesome. It's been an incredible adventure. Yeah. And it's gonna be an adventure. I was gonna say it's gonna be an adventure getting him out of here now because we have to go back and get mules. <laughs> This is as good of an ending to filling my Wyoming non-resident deer tag as I could have hoped for. The harvest of this mature buck on the last day of season with my husband and the help to pack it off the mountain with my mule Otis make it an unforgettable hunt. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. We just got done packing out my buck and we passed on this buck this morning and I shot the three by three, but we just found him bedded. And uh, I think it's the same buck as this morning. It looks like the same buck from this morning. He sure does. A big old two point. That's a good one to take. You want to go out after him? Yeah, we should do that. He's in a good spot too. I think we can get to him pretty good. Yeah, you just go up this ridge and head out and yeah. he's bedded so he should stay down for a little while. You guys need to get moving though because he's going to start walking soon. Yogi made a successful stalk on his buck last night, but uh, we kind of ran out of daylight and I don't really like packing meat in the dark. So we got up this morning before daylight and uh, got everybody saddled up and now we're getting ready to head out and go pack out his deer and then come back and break camp and pack right. out of here. Yeah. Yeah, And it's nice we got two bucks, uh, both are nice mature deer yeah. and we've done some good management here in Wyoming and freezers are full and uh, tags are not. And we had a good trap, it's, it's a, a cool experience. Yeah. Yeah. It's our first trip, we've learned a lot on it so far and okay. many more to come. But oh, I'm starting to feel tired.
For more Pursue the Wild, jump behind the scenes with us for our new lifestyle digital series, Our Wild Life. And make sure to tune into our podcast, Wild and Uncut. We appreciate you being part of our journey.